Hi again, I'm Alfa Verheyen, one of the student counselors of NHL Stenden. And following up on yesterday's video, we're going to talk about working from home and how to keep on track with your studies. If you've missed yesterday's video on mental and physical health tips, then go and check them out in the highlights of our Instagram page. Now today I got four tips for you regarding your schoolwork. So if you spend 40 hours a week, you'll do twice as much as uh, if you were to be spending 20 hours a week. So track the amount of time you're spending on your study and set a goal for yourself. Is 20 hours okay? Is 10 hours okay? Maybe it's even the magical 40 hours a week that you want to do and build up to that. Now, in an ideal situation, I'd have you study five, five days a week uh, on normal weekdays, start at the same time every day and then build up the hours spent. Okay, so the second thing to look at is where are you studying? Normally, I'd advise against studying at home and just study on school or just study somewhere outside, uh, but don't study at home. However, this isn't possible now, so try and create a separate study space in your home. This can preferably be a different room, but if you lack a room, you can uh, take a small table, put it somewhere where you're just studying. If that's not even possible, then you could set a strict time for yourself uh, on where to study, clean up your study stuff, put it away, and go and relax. Now, I'm not saying it's impossible to study uh, while in bed or while on the couch. However, your surroundings aren't uh, helping you. You could study at a concert, but you'd make it more difficult for yourself. So if you want to make it easy on yourself, create that separate study space. Okay, the third thing is to plan regular appointments, especially with teachers uh, and your study coach, but also, of course, with your uh, classmates. Now, if every day you'd like to start at half past nine uh, with your studying, set an appointment at half past nine with a teacher, a classmate, etc., uh, to help you get started, because you'd have to be dressed. It's preferably uh, you have your breakfast and stuff uh, already out of the way, and now you're sitting there, you have the appointment, maybe even an appointment of 10 minutes just to give a small update on how it's going. And while you're there, you might as well continue working on school. That's a way easier to get started. You can also use these appointments to keep studying. So maybe even set up a group together on where you just have the camera on and you're just studying, doing your own work while the other person is also doing this. There are whole YouTube channels dedicated to this sort of stuff. So now you've got these study tips, you already had the mental and physical health tips, so how to bring it all together? Well, in the words of Jordan Peterson, daily structure keeps you sane. So that means design the day or the week that you would want to have and work towards that. So set a reasonable amount of time on the things you have to do, on the things you want to do, and have a nice balance there. Design this preferably on paper or on your screen so that you can keep working towards it. Now, so many, many things have changed in the last few months. This would be a good time to give yourself some extra structure. So get up every day at preferably the same time. Do your morning routine. Start the day off. Make yourself presentable. Uh, go and have a chat with people online. Uh, do your daily structure and try and keep working towards that. Now, of course, it needs to be said that if you experience any physical problems, uh, go and talk to your doctor. If you experience any mental problems or trouble getting your study started, or if you're stuck with a, a difficult situation at home or uh, something like that, do contact your uh, study coach. And you can also still contact the student counselor. We're open for business, um, except not physically. But we can have a phone call, we can have a video conference, and we can still help you out. So contact student info if you'd like to make an appointment with a student counselor. A video conference, and we can still help you out. So contact student info if you'd like to make an appointment with a student counselor. Do you have more questions or problems or things you'd like me to discuss? Feel free to leave a reply here. And in the meantime, stay healthy, stay sane, and keep studying.